Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. Hey guys, I'm Tim. Smash that like button. We appreciate everybody watching today. Today we've got a walk through Wednesday. That means we're going to walk through our greenhouse, talk about some cool Japanese maples we see that you might want to have. It's okay if you lightly tap the like button. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's get into it. There's some cool plants here. Uh, there's a lot going on. We're in one of our biggest greenhouses. We're in house 19. Uh, let's look at these Bronze Age. Tim, what do you think about these Bronze Age over here? I mean, Bronze cool Age set. is an awesome plant. Awesome, awesome plant. This plant puts on a lot of bronze colors in the early spring. I think the name is so aptly fit. Right. I mean, that bronze color in the spring adds so much to this plant. Matt loves pairing this tree with the moonrise. I know that. Oh, awesome plant. We've got it here next to some Arium. A Talon Buckholtz introduction. It is a hybrid Shirasawa one that brings a ton to the table. I love the secondary flushes on this being that really bright kind of pink salmon -y color and really showing out next to these Ariums right here. And Arium is a great plant too. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's a classic Shirasawa on them. You know, everybody loves this one. It is classic golden full moon, large Acer Shirasawa on leaves. Always a showstopper. Does sell out pretty quickly when we get that one listed. It is a slow grower, but you give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun. And there's not much that is as bright yellow as the golden full moon Japanese maple. Excellent sizes in purple ghosts, guys. We've got some beastly one gallon purple ghosts. Uh, you know this one if you watch our channel. The ghost series is awesome. Purple ghosts, no exception there. Amazing sizes. There, there's a ton here at our nursery right now. Uh, things are moving quickly as we're in spring. Lillian's Jewel, always amazing. I love Lillian's Jewel. It's super variegated. I mean, it's one of the most stable variegated red uprights that has an irregular variegation. That means each and every leaf is gonna look very different and very unique. But this plant is just a rock star when it comes to this much variegation. Oh man, hard to beat it, hard to beat it. Oh, some great stuff in this house though, guys. We've got a lot going on. Uh, finding yeah. plants we don't talk about a lot, but we do, uh, you know, so many different ones. Now we do talk about this one a lot. Well, the thing I love about these are these are low graft Acer palmatum, desectum, orangeolus. We probably should stake these up. I mean, these are massive. But if you want to do a hanging basket, I mean, these or are- Or just a container garden where it weeps down below the container. It, orangeolus is one of the few lace leaves that have that extreme weeping habit, mm -hmm. not just your weeping habit. I mean, the branches on this go straight downward. It's been on the ground, so it's only right there. But if you had this a hanging basket, it could be there. Oh yeah, those are massive. I, I'm This is catching my eye right here, guys. Look at these Rhode Island Reds. We've got them. Nestled in here beside some Makawi Atsabusas, great contrast. Rhode Island Red is the true dwarf blood good. So you can grow this one in a container, makes a perfect topper for a container. We've got a picture from Ed Shin's garden we often throw up on our website, and it shows perfectly what this one can do in a large pot. Now the pairings here. I yeah, mean, I mean, that, I those are great pairings. I didn't realize how good of a pairing they were until you're looking at them side by side and you see the bright reds on the Rhode Island Red, the lime greens on the Makawi Atsabusa. I mean, it pairs so well together, the great container plants, mm -hmm. and they both fit in small places in the garden. Yeah, if you've got a patio garden and you want to bring some intensity, Rhode Island Red and Makawi Atsabusa, those are a great starting point. Let's grab some of these moonrise over here. Yeah, you see the sea of moonrise? This is pretty awesome. The colors on these things are outrageously awesome. Because I you mean, get moonrise, known for that, that light yellowish green with that apricot new growth over it. Uh, we'll have to fly over this little section here. We can hover over this with our gimbal and show you what these look like right now. But awesome new growth flushes. And they'll get even more intense as it gets warm. Yeah, and that lime green. And then you get these colors that are almost the shade of my shirt with that lime green. The contrast is awesome. Woo, man, a lot of nice lace leaves, some big sizes. Guys, look at these anirenes. Uh, anirene, variegated yellow sport off of summer gold. Uh, Awesome plant. I mean, you get some ruffles going off. You get this one a little bit more sun, you get more of this pink you see on some of the new growth here. Uh, it is incredible. It's got a very regal leaf to it and just an excellent overall tree. Look at the size on these Acer Palmatum Dissectum English Lace. Now I do recommend staking these up a little bit. So if you put them in the ground, put a stake on it, but this is a more upright growing red lace leaf. Yeah. Some killer sizes. Great sizes those right now. Okay, let's look at the strawberry spring set up here on this side, man. I love strawberry spring. Uh, we've been in leaf, some things have been in leaf longer than others, but this is a showstopper for color. Really impressed with the way this one looks. Uh, this one has, it's one of those new ghosts, so it has a ton of color going on to it. 
and it just kind of puts on even more kind of pink over top of this this like reticulated overlay i mean we've been in leaf since probably mid march mm -hmm. with these and we had to heat because it got down to 19 degrees in these houses which was crazy so we heated to keep it above 19 degrees and keep these plants growing but this strawberry color is outrageous and then when it gets to the lime green with the cream i mean it just keeps putting on a show of this outrageous color that mm -hmm. you don't get on many of the other Japanese maples. Really nice. Guys, I don't know if we have a greenhouse right now at Mr. Maple without Golden Falls in it, and you're still selling us out of this one. Awesome plant, a weeping Ryusei style with intensely yellow color. Think of this one as a Ryusen X Katsura. Awesome tree to be growing. We had a lot of them here at Mr. Maple, but they're still selling out. Yeah, and the best thing about these plants is they're low grafted. So you can, if you want, you've got more options. You can always stake them up and get that height to it, but you can also let this just grow as a ground cover or use one of these used for a hanging basket as well. Then there's so many cool trees as we come down through here. There's more purple ghosts, more strawberry spring. Uh, coming down through here, there's some really good size, some nice high grafted Acer pomatum dissectum veritas right now. I mean, yeah. this whole side down through here is Veritas. It's one of our most popular weeping green lace leaves and goes to really nice yellows and oranges. But this is just a classic that it, I, everyone starts out with the red Japanese maple, but the green Japanese maples are pretty spectacular. And if you have a dark house and you're trying to put a red Japanese maple in front of it, something like a Veritas will show up better in front of that red house than a red Japanese maple. It'll actually brighten up the area and you can appreciate the tree a little more. It adds a ton of texture, color. You know, you're gonna get yellows to oranges on this one in the fall, and just a great plant. Durable as, as it can be, too. You can put this one out in a lot of sun, up to zone eight, so it's tough and uh, easy to grow. Oh, yeah. Let's go in here and grab some of these orangeola on the other side, man. We've, we've did Veritas. We've got a, an army of orangeola over here. Now, these are the high grafts. We just showed you the low grafts. These are grafted about right here. We talked about orangeola in the smaller sizes. But these, uh, these high grafts go ahead and give you a little bit of elevated height right away. And man, I love the contrast they look, have even within themselves. Look across these trees right now. You see Amazing. that orange new growth? That's where Orangeola gets its name. Oh man, there's so much cool stuff in this one. Yeah, I don't know if we have any greenhouses without Geisha gone wild either. <laughs> also some nice first ghosts. You also did a cultivar highlight on that one. Well, we definitely have some really good variegated Acer palmatum, Hanamatoes, and these are a little bit later to leaf out. As you see now, they're just filling out. But all as you can see, they're extremely variegated as well. Yeah, one thing about uh, types like this, when you get them from Mr. Maple, we make sure they're actually variegated. So we put the utmost detail into making sure these are correct, and uh, it's going to make an awesome looking Hanamatoe for you. I think we talk about Geisha Gone Wild in every walkthrough because it's everywhere, but it's everywhere for good reason. Pair this one with your Golden Falls, amazing. Guys, Geisha Gone Wild is one of our favorite showy variegated maples. It is an intense pink with a lot of color contrast. Yeah, Geisha Gone Wild, it really is a pink Japanese maple if you're growing in sunlight. It's gonna get some intense colors that are just outrageous. Check out our full cultivar highlight on Geisha Gone Wild. Many of these trees we've talked about, we've got full cultivar highlights on. So make sure you're subscribed to the Mr. Maple Show. We put out daily content there and we've got some great cultivar highlights. Take care. God bless and have a great day.